to set up the projector and remote. First, place the projector in front of a suitable projection screen or wall. Once you find the right spot for your projector, connect the AC adapter to the power cord. Then, connect the other end of the AC adapter to the projector. Finally, plug the power cord into the wall outlet. The projector's LED indicator will light up red once the device is plugged in. How to set up and pair the remote control To power on the remote control, slide off the battery cover. Then, insert two AAA batteries into the battery compartment, batteries not included. Place the battery cover back onto the remote control. Once the remote control is powered on, it should automatically pair to the projector. If this doesn't happen, then you can manually pair the remote. For manual pairing, make sure the projector is turned on. Next, press and hold the back and home buttons simultaneously for 5 seconds. The LED light on the remote control will flash, indicating that it is pairing. Once the light stays on without flashing, the pairing process is complete. How to set up Android TV on the projector there are two methods for setting up Android TV on the projector. It can be set up with an Android phone or with a remote control. To set up Android TV with your Android phone, start by confirming that you want to set up the projector with your Android phone on the projector. Next, open the Google app on your phone. Then, type in Set Up My Device. Follow the instructions on your phone until you get a code. Then, verify the code on the projector. To finish the setup, follow the instructions that appear on the projector. To set up your Android TV with the remote control, start by skipping the option to set up the projector with your Android phone. Next, open the Android TV settings. Go to Network and select your Wi-Fi network. Enter your password and wait for the projector to connect. Next, go to Account and select Add Account. Finally, enter your email address and password. After that, you should be successfully logged in. How to set up the remote control on your Android phone First, open the Google TV app on your Android phone. Tap TV Nearby. Tap the TV stick on your phone when it pops up. Once you select the device, a code will appear on the projector. Enter the code on your phone. Once this code is entered, the pairing process will begin. Now you should be able to use your phone as a remote control for the projector. How to set up the remote control on your iOS phone? First, download the Google TV app. Next, open the app and sign in with the same ID as your Android TV. Once you're in the app, select the Home tab and tap the TV Remote button. Tap the TV stick on your phone when it pops up. Make sure your device, in this case the Android TV projector, is turned on and connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your phone. Once you select the device, a code will appear on the projector. Enter the code on your phone. Once this code is entered, the pairing process will begin. When the pairing process is complete, you should be able to use your phone as a remote control for the projector. How to cast content from your device to the projector First, select the device you wish to use, like a phone, tablet, or laptop. Next, connect the selected device to the same Wi-Fi network as your projector. Then, open a Chromecast-enabled app that has the content you want to cast. Find and select Cast in the app. Tap the TV stick on your phone when it pops up. The cast symbol will change color indicating that the connection is complete. How to screen mirror from your iOS device to the projector. First, install AirPlay on the projector for screen mirroring. To get AirPlay, install the AirScreen app from Google Play on the projector. To start screen mirroring from your iPhone or iPad, make sure your iOS device and the projector are on the same Wi-Fi network. Swipe down on your phone or tablet home screen and tap the AirPlay icon. Finally, select the device you want to cast to. To stop mirroring, simply turn off AirPlay by selecting the AirPlay icon again. How to stream videos from your iOS device to the projector 
To stream videos, start by making sure your iPhone or iPad is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the projector. Next, open the streaming app you want to cast and select a video to play. Then, click the AirPlay or Cast icon to cast to the projector. How to pair external devices via Bluetooth External devices like headphones, speakers, mice, and keyboards can be paired to the projector through Bluetooth. To begin, open the Android TV settings. Next, select Remote and Accessories, and then select Add Accessory. Once that is done, activate pairing mode on the device you want to connect. Select your device from the list on the projector. Finally, wait for the devices to successfully pair together. How to use Google Assistant With Google Assistant, you can navigate through apps and streaming services on your projector using your voice. To activate voice control, press the Google Assistant button on the remote control. When Google Assistant introduction appears on screen, follow the on-screen steps to finish the setup. Once Google Assistant is set up, press the button again and ask a question or give a command with your voice. How to connect a USB drive to the projector First, insert your USB drive into the USB port in the back of the projector. Once the USB drive is connected, a File Commander pop-up window will appear. Then, you can browse through all your videos and photos stored on your USB drive. How to connect an HDMI-compatible device to the projector First, connect the HDMI cable to the projector and your device. HDMI-compatible devices can be a laptop, gaming console, computer, and so on. Next, press the Projector Settings button on the remote control. Finally, go to Signal and select HDMI. Also, keep in mind some devices require a HDMI to HDMI cable or adapter that is sold separately. How to navigate the projector settings First, press the projector settings button to make a pop-up settings window appear. In the pop-up window, there is a list of options to choose from. Signal, Display, Sound, and System. Select the Signal option to choose an input source. Select the Display option to adjust display settings like Projection Mode and Project Ratio. With Projection Mode, you can choose exactly how your projector is positioned in relation to the screen. Select between Front, Front Ceiling, Rear, or Rear Ceiling Projection. With Manual Keystone, you can manually adjust the angle of the projected screen to eliminate possible distortion or warping. With Auto Keystone, the Keystone correction will be done by the projector automatically. Select the Sound option to adjust sound settings like Sound Mode and Touch Tone. Finally, select the System option to change general settings about the projector. Troubleshooting – Solutions for Unplayable Media on the Projector If for some reason your media on the projector aren't playing, there are a few troubleshooting solutions you can try. Check your Wi-Fi connection. To check your Wi-Fi connection, press the Android TV Settings button from the Android TV Home menu. Under Network, make sure the right network is selected and working properly. Next, follow the on-screen instructions. Finally, open an app and try playing one of your medias again. Make sure your system is up to date. To check that your system is up to date, press the Android TV Settings button from the Android TV Home menu. Select About and go to System Software Update. Then, select Software Update. If any updates are available, install them, then try to play your media again. Restart the projector. To restart the projector, press the Android TV Settings button from the Android TV Home menu. Select About and then select Restart. Once the projector restarts, try to play your media again. Check that you are using an account. To make sure you are signed in, press the Android TV Settings button from the Android TV Home menu. Then, under Accounts, check that you are logged into your Android TV account. Finally, try to play your media again. Sync your account. To sync your account, press the Android TV Settings button from the Android TV Home menu. Under Accounts, select your account. Then, select Sync Now. Once the sync is complete, 
Try to play your media again. Clear your app data and cache. To clear your app data, press the Android TV Settings button from the Android TV Home menu. Next, select Apps. Under System Apps, select an app and go to Clear Data. Then, select Clear Cache to confirm. Go back to the Home menu, open the app, and try to play your media. Frequently Asked Questions How do you play videos without Wi-Fi? First, download videos to a USB drive. Insert your USB drive into the USB port in the back of the projector. Once the USB drive is connected, a File Commander pop-up window will appear. Then, you can browse through all your videos and photos stored on your USB drive. How do you connect external speakers without Bluetooth? To connect external speakers without Bluetooth, you need an audio cable. First, connect your 3.5mm audio cable to the external speaker. Next, connect the other end of the audio cable to the aux port on the projector. Once the external speakers are connected, the built-in speaker system in the projector will be disabled.